Alrighty guys, this is our game again today. We are going to be casting a subscriber submitted Kerrigan Survival Replay and the guy who sent this to me, I believe it was Snow Ghost and he really told me that this is going to be one of the best Selendis carries I've ever seen. So I'm not sure if that's the case, but due to the fact that it's Snow Ghost and he is like a semi pro, I am going to expecting, I'm going to be expecting a lot of pro moves in here by him. Now he's going to go towards the bottom right hand corner and I guess he's going to set up his first bit of income. And then talking about the other guys, we also have Zeratul here with the Dark Spirit. We've got Avral with the Helios. We have, we have new Bicorn with the Prophet. We also have Sina with Team Nova. We have Kojda, Koja with Technician. And did I get everybody? Oh, we also have Gain with Selenius. Actually, he could also be the one who will carry the game because Gain is also a very, very strong player. I'm not sure which one of these will actually be like the victor of the game, but I'm going to have to check that out. But the thing is, yeah, Snow Ghost is placing the mineral fields as he should. So from the probe, from the mineral to the next side, there is like zero travel time. So the probe just get the mineral. And then they return it and then on the other side we have Glevig with Glevig ironically and then we also have Glevig with Kerrigan. Wait, what? Is this one guy? Are you serious? Yeah, this is one guy. This is just Glevig against all of the others. Okay, Glevig is of course a pro, so he is not gonna let down easily. So he's gonna... No, Zertu, Zertu, no! He's gonna get attacked by Kerrigan. He's gonna just get destroyed by Kerrigan. What the freak was that? Zeratul. He just dismissed Kerrigan altogether and then he just died. He got... He got four shot by Kerrigan. What in the world? It looks like Glevig is already going strong with Kerrigan, destroying the freaking spirit from the first two minutes. Yeah, that was very sloppy by Zeratul. Why? Why would you even do that? I mean, he like blocked himself with the turret, so in case he got attacked from one side, there was no way he could have run away. It was unfortunate. Oh, he's going after Sina right now, and he will actually try to recall, and he will manage to tosh. Standing at only 100 HP, he was almost destroyed by Kerrigan. One more second there and he would have just died. Just like that. Now Kerrigan's gonna go after poor Koja. <coughs> yeah, the boy will probably have to blink. No, 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 no. What are you? No, no, no. Okay, okay. He will run. He will actually run and blink. He could have just run past Kerrigan because he doesn't do that much damage level 2. But he just chose to like run halfway and then just blink. I would have liked him to just run away because Kerrigan again doesn't do that much damage to the technician. Now in the meantime Snow Ghost is gonna go for up to how many is this? This is about 10 of these mineral fields, 10, even 11 right now. He also needs to go for Nexus in here and he's gonna have uh, yeah an extra 4 of these ready. He's got 12 minerals right now. This is really good for him. His income is amazing so far, I cannot really complain. Oh no, no, Avral with Helios is gonna get surrounded by Kerrigan and the other Zergen. He will try to go to the left and I guess he will eventually manage to, but not before. He almost died like twice, once to Kerrigan and once to the other Zerglings. Yeah, this Glevig is not slowing down really, he's just destroying survivor after survivor. He only got one right now, but I'm sure he'll get more. I mean, Glevig is not even thinking of giving up, even though he is actually solo. He was just going forward with Kerrigan, trying to look for whatever income he can find. In the meantime, we also have Sina doing pretty well here with the Team Nova income. He's got about how many is this? This is exactly 12 mission commands. And they are all either plus 1 or plus 2. For the minute 5 mark, this is really nice. Now Nova is actually at the top side. And then Tosh is in the middle top side of the map. They're both farting like... Casually now, I guess Kerrigan will find Koja's uh, transmutation factor at plus four, but the guy will not try to salvage with the trainee. I mean, you pretty much have to use the button if you're getting attacked by four Zerglings. He just didn't. The trainees can also salvage stuff, but not as quickly as the regular, the regular guy and the regular actual technician. Yeah, I guess Kerrigan will just get his income once more. Does he actually have any other income spots? No, he does not. He's got 20 gas, but that's it. Koja is very, very poor. Now, we can see Gain is... Actually, he's not doing that well. I said he was like a pro, <laughs> but he clearly doesn't really know how to play Selene. I guess this is one of his first times. It was not that good, but on the other side of the map, Snow Ghost is doing amazing with his... Uh, 
with this income this is about 16 mineral fields all of them saturated and on the way to being upgraded to the plus 8 mark I believe he will go just to the plus 8 because that is the most efficient way to upgrade buildings in general now Nova will cloak and go down where's Kerrigan by the way I think she was okay there she is she's on the bottom side of the map clearing up whatever outpost she can find and she's gonna go, now go up I guess towards Tosh and towards Nova because those guys are very dangerous especially because Sina is playing them Sina of course is a very very good pro there is no doubt in that and he also loves playing Team Nova so you don't want to have a fat Team Nova who knows how to play Team Nova that's never a good idea when you're a Kerrigan you have to take care of those and you can see Glevig is afraid because he knows he hasn't found the Team Nova income just yet he needs to though he really needs to I guess he's gonna go after Koja Zinka once again Koja bro what are you doing he's defending with small laser towers that can actually attack the Zerglings and Kerrigan will be able to see. Actually, if we look here, what number is Glevig? One. Okay, so Glevig. He doesn't act. Okay, he has that on the fuck of war. That's not good. No, Tosh will get destroyed. What was that? Kerrigan just casually walks towards him. And Sina doesn't react at all. And now she has this one small laser tower on the fuck of war. And I guess he's gonna go after the income. I mean, come on, Kerrigan, you have to. She has to know. There is no way she doesn't know. I mean, she knows about this one, and I guess she's gonna send a link ball or something up here. Because she won't let this one stand. Yeah, she knows. He knows what is going on. He's just gonna send a link ball and then go forward towards the others. Now, Snowboy's is trying to farm with a couple of Stalkers, which is practically the best way to farm. Because Stalkers are the fastest and then the most mobile out of uh, all of the units. Especially if they get Blink. Blink is very important when you are Selendis and you're using Stalkers. So Ghost is following a very weird tactic, but it's actually working. Yeah, he's farming a lot, he's, he does have a lot of income, and then his probes are getting advanced one by one. Can you find another base, please? Koja is so, so mad right now. Yeah, look at this. He's got no idea. He doesn't know what's going on, really. He's getting focused really freaking hard right now. Koja, no. Koja is gonna get focused again by Kerrigan. Look at this. She knows he's here, and I guess he knows she's here. No, don't don't transmutate, bro. Why is he transmutating? Kerrigan probably knows he's in here. Okay, guys, there, there was a little uh, noisy inconvenience, but now it's gone. So we can just go back to the game, to the replay, and see what Kerrigan's gonna do now. Does she actually know he's here? No, she does not. Oh, but I think she knows because she can see the invisible walls. Yeah, if she rallies Zerglings towards the actual base, she just doesn't see it. She sees that the links are not going forward, but I mean, I guess she's microing Glevig right now. Look at that. Yeah, she needs to defend against the Stalkers. Snow Ghost is actually already getting 1-1, one, one. and does he... Okay, he does not have wall probes in the advanced form, so that's not... That's not that cool, but still. His income is probably the best out of his entire team, especially compared to Sina. Sina hasn't been found just yet, but I mean, his structures are like covered in creep. It's pretty obvious that he's gonna get... No, Technician is gonna get snared and he is gonna get destroyed. What was that? Koja. He needed to like run past Kerrigan. He, he ran like straight through her. That was not a good thing, bro. Okay, I guess that puts it... Uh, that puts him down forever. And now Kerrigan will have to focus on someone else. But who's gonna be the unlucky folk here? I guess it's gonna be Nova. Because, I mean, Kerrigan seems to be going only after... People she can see, because she won't actually go out of her way to look for any sort of income. I guess she's gonna go to the right now and just look for... Or I guess she could go for Snow Ghost. She knows where his uh, stalkers are, so that would make sense. Yeah, there we go. She's just gonna go and try and clean up these stalkers here. Okay, no, the links go right past the stalkers. I'm pretty sure he wanted the links to go towards the stalkers. But I mean, they're ready in one point, but where? Oh, okay, they're checking for this one base. The Stalkers will actually get found by Nova, by Kerrigan, and then Stalkers will have to run away. <laughs> Look at this. He's even going to use the Blink on the Stalkers to run away, but, I mean, this is going to be a lot of feed for Selenius, because the Stalkers will get a lot of gas from these Zerglings. Now, Kerrigan, no, don't give up on, on the Stalkers. Oh, they're even going to get recalled. Yeah, look at that. Selenius just recalls them to the top of the map, and Kerrigan will not actually get to uh, destroy them. A good job, Snow Ghost just saved himself like 1,000 something minerals because these stalkers, they're not cheap. They're 125 minerals each. 
So they will get out and poor Kerrigan will be left with nothing. I mean, she can go after, I guess, the Ko No, <laughs> no way she's gonna go after Koja in the ghost form. I mean, she just doesn't wanna let Koja alone. But she will let the actual pro with the best income in the game just leave. <laughs> Koja says, guys, what's going on? Yeah, that's right. Kerrigan is just gonna go for his income over and over and over again. No matter whether he's alive or dead, he just... No, Nova, Nova almost get destroyed by a lot of Zerglings, what was that? Sina just got a bit carried out right then and there, but now he needs to run away. No, don't run towards Kerrigan, don't run! He's gonna get dashed on and then... And then destroyed. Sina just dies another time and he just leaves the game. Yeah, he's so mad. He lost both Tosh and Nova through a very unfortunate series of events. So, I guess the three Stalkers will live. Yeah, look at this. Three stalkers. Three stalkers in the preserver. That's all there is left from that fight. Look at the links going. I guess they're gonna go down. After Gain's income, did she actually find him? I mean, he had to salvage a couple of times. I guess it's just because uh, poor income placement. That's what I'm thinking. Now, she will finally find the well off of the Prophet. That used to hide Tim Nova's income, but now, of course, Tim Nova's gone. So, Kerrigan will find nothing here. I guess that is a way to do it, just destroy the builder and not actually go for the income. That's a plan, yeah, look at this. Kerrigan is now gonna go and check the bottom side, because she hasn't been there all that much, yeah. Just gonna have to go down. I mean, will she? I guess she will just go after, after Koja again, are you serious? Is she gathering this for Koja? No way, no way, she's gonna go after Koja again. Is this for real? Kerrigan, no, 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 why, why, why did you go for a ghost like this? No, no, Kerrigan, no, what's happening? I guess she just wants to destroy this guy so badly. She's even gonna try to focus him when he's a ghost. L look at this, Kerrigan. No, this is, this is not a good plan for you and this is not good for Koja either, but especially for Kerrigan, because now she's wasting so much time on poor Koja. He's gonna lose his turrets for, I believe, the 12th time. Together with his like um, survivor death, she ju he's just gonna morph into a phoenix and run away, and she's gonna destroy the rest of these turrets. She will manage to. She will even get level five. I don't understand. He says. I guess Kerrigan hates him for some reason. For some odd reason, I don't really understand. Guy in here is doing all right, but this is a lot of space to take up. I don't know, cause if Kerrigan sees this whole side of the map is not patrolled by any zerglings this is a little bit sus now we can see snow ghost is doing a bit better because he's got a ton of advanced props together with plus 80 mineral fields is he gonna go for another one yeah look at that this is a second freaking outpost together with i mean how many is this this has exactly 24 mineral fields yeah he's doing amazing there, there's no way around it snow ghost is like the richest man in this neighborhood right now and he's also placing his income the best that he can. I really have a couple of things to learn from this guy. Especially talking about the farming and then the income. He just does everything so perfectly. He's even gonna get how many? He's gonna get more. He's got 24 and then... And now he's got 30 mineral patches. All of them very active. I mean, he's filthy rich. There is no, like, there is no doubt. He's the richest man in the neighborhood right now. There's literally nobody who even comes close, not even Kerrigan. Did he actually go for the uh, cloaking field range? Is that a thing? Because there is an upgrade. Okay, Kerrigan, never mind. Kerrigan's gonna go straight after Gain's income. Yeah, she will just destroy it altogether and it will get annihilated. Look at this. Gain will have to salvage. He actually doesn't salvage most of his probes and patches. I mean, yeah, this is a shame. I mean, bro, why? No, no, salvage. Salvage this at least. Come on. Salvage. He sees those links are like kissing his freaking neck side and he's not salvaging. Come on, bro, bro, you have to salvage. You you have to. Stop it. This is painful. He's actually upgrading the fields. Oh my god, no, no, you're not supposed to do this. This is not how you're supposed to play the game. You're supposed to salvage. Or I guess Kerrigan will just be ignorant instead. Oh, that one Ling actually saw a couple of his structures. And yeah, that's unfortunate. And then the ghost will actually handle him. That is nice. Koja being the hero here, but I mean, okay, now Kerrigan knows, now Kerrigan knows he's here and he will salvage Snow Ghost. He found out about your base, bro, he will, come on, salvage, please, Snow Ghost, no. His reaction time is not that good now, okay, now, yeah, there you go, now he's gonna salvage, he also needs to salvage the probes, 
and like half of it got destroyed but half of it got salvaged so that's not that bad he will get to use his second outpost i guess yeah he just needs to upgrade all of this come on there's no way upgrade okay he's gonna cloak a huge portion of his income but you need to upgrade your plus four mineral fields you cannot afford to have ones that are like so low you just can't okay yeah there you go he's finally gonna do it Maxing out on plus 8, as any Selendis should. Now look at this, Avral with Helios is actually setting up a base right here. But he doesn't have that much income, he hasn't been farming for a long time. So this kind of worries me, I know that he's not gonna do all too well. But I guess together with the Selendis now coming in for the base, they will eventually be able to pull it off. Yeah, look at this. And Kerrigan doesn't even have that much income. I mean, she's pretty much as poor as she gets at minute to what, 22? She does have upgrades granted, so she does have 3-2. She is kinda rich now. Look at Selendis with 5,000 resources, 2-2, two, two, so she's got pretty much everything she could ever ask for. She's just gonna play some cannons. No, those are pylons. She wants to warp in some units, but she cannot. No, no, Snow Ghost, you can't do this. He will need to just reposition the base, because Kerrigan is already here, and uh, Avral, Avral, this is not him, by the way. This moon, not him. It won't die anyway, so there you go. Where is he actually? Oh, he's on the top side of the map now. Now Garden is trying to rebuild his income, like right next to the base. That is never a good idea. Why would you even do this, bro? Just just don't do this. Why would you try to like rebuild your stuff right when where your other stuff just got destroyed? I don't know, no snow ghost. It's gonna try to farm some gas with the stalkers and it's gonna work to some degree, but he doesn't have that much energy. This is the main problem. He's got no energy for Colossi, because now he can just warp in about like two of them. Two at max, maybe three. But he will need like 20 if he wants to destroy all of these guys with ease. Okay, we're gonna have to see where this is gonna go now. Look at Kerrigan, he's gonna go after Gain's last next side, right? just like that. And now. He is actually gonna try to go after the other base, is that for real? Okay, I guess he's gonna try and uh, go to the right now. Now the boys are trying to base again a second time. This time Snow Ghost has Colossi, which is huge. These guys can deal a lot of splash and Kerrigan doesn't seem to be using anything other than like just Zerglings. So this is amazing. Look at this gun is just warping in more and more stalkers. And I mean, bro, bro, you don't have to do this. He's just putting himself in danger for no reason. No, no, look at this. He's gonna go towards the edge, but the edge is not safe because it's covered in creep. You, you just can't do this, bro. Guy, no, no. I guess he, he's lost. There's nothing he can do anymore. He just blocked himself um, between the creep and Kerrigan. Now Glevig is just gonna TP on top of him and he's gonna get destroyed by those by those poor crawlers yeah poor guy now it's only up to Selendis and Avral right now to actually manage to hold off against Kerrigan and so far it's working gas yeah, and this is gonna have like 50 50 60 gas you can warp in up to six skull outside but she doesn't have the the energy for it she's gonna warp in like three more but this is not gonna be enough I mean it's only five skull outside for now they're doing well but Kerrigan here she comes with like 20 armor and a ton of energy and ready to just destroy everything in here. She does have a ton of resources as well. That's 4,000 resources in the bank for Avral, for I guess Glevig. Now Avral and Selenis are trying to hold off against him, but I mean, Kerrigan is so freaking tanky. Yeah, she just she just refuses to take damage. Let the Archons tank. Yeah, you should. The Archons are extremely beefy and do like almost no damage. I mean, so far they've been doing a great job. Now look at Glavik, he's actually gonna flank and destroy most of these uh, Avral structures because he's got a ton of range, of course. Now Kerrigan's gonna try and go from the right side. And there are some Marios coming from the left, left side and now the guys are pretty much surrounded. No! Nubicorn is just gonna play some random vision and he's gonna get attacked by Hydra, he's gonna get destroyed, no Prophet! What was that? Prophet just suicided into a couple of those Hydras for no reason whatsoever, no. Look at that. Snow Ghost is actually trying to hold on. He's gonna have like 200 gas, but this is not enough. Yeah, the actual carry gonna just destroy him now. Will he get out of this uh, place? Because I mean, there is creep on both sides. I guess he can just recall if he wants to. Yeah, he can just recall to his main base, which is this one. He's like last resort. He's even gonna send now. He's level 7, so he will go into the big cell in this mode right now. He's gonna have to work in even a couple of Colossi here. He's gonna get like four of them. Clowns and noobs, says Glevig. 
I mean, he's kind of mad. You fight versus Glevig. Oh, come on, you're just cocky now. Glevig is just way too cocky at this point. Yes, he's kind of winning, but again, the game is not over yet. Snow Ghost is still alive, and he's got a ton of Colossi. Can you see that? He's just warping in like 12 of them, or I guess 14 of them. No, it is exactly 12 Colossi. They're gonna go to jail on all of those Zerglings. I mean, the the Zerglings have no chance against Colossi. There's, that's just how it works. And now the, with the Hydros, they can actually do some damage. Hydros do have 3-3 three, three and the Colossi will get just soaked in all of those links. And then Avral, Snow Ghost will just have to get away. Because the Hydros are just too much. And now he will actually need to recall. Yeah, go, go to your base. He will just recall to his main base. <laughs> Glevig says run. I mean, yeah, he did run away, but now he's in his base and he does have 500 energy. As soon as he gets the shields to use his capacitor, it's gonna be pretty much impossible for him to, like, defend. I mean, getting this Colossi this early is not a good idea. Because they can reveal you before you can actually get enough Colossi to hold on against Kerrigan. Now, Kerrigan somehow sees where he is exactly now. The ghosts are gonna start building flaming turrets, which is amazing. This can just burn... At all of those links now, Sandy's really needs to use her. Okay, she will use the capacitor now. He does save enough energy to get as many Colossi as he wants to. And now, here they come. This is gonna be a total of 13 Colo. No, this is 11 Colossi fighting against the Zerg together with a couple of Stalkers, all at 3 3. And now it's just maxed out Kerrigan versus maxed out Silence. Who is actually gonna be able to do this? Now, the thing is, oh, look at this. Yeah, Gun is even like upgrading the freaking flaming turrets as he should. And now Kirgan's gonna even go for a couple of those Brutalisks, but those don't do that much. Not if uh, you don't have enough of them, because Kirgan's income kinda sucks right now, so she doesn't afford to go for any more than those. Yeah, and now she will have to go back, because she's gonna be taking a lot of damage from Selenia. So by the way, right now, there's about... That is over a thousand damage a second, and she does do almost 200 a shot. And even though Kerrigan has a lot of armor, that's nowhere enough to negate all of that damage. So Kerrigan will actually have to get out and to concede out of the fight. Yeah, poor Kerrigan, she walks away defeated. Now she will have to like regroup her forces because that's the only way he could be able to destroy Selendis. I guess Selendis now knows that Kerrigan doesn't have that much income because she wasn't able to spam Brutalisks to infinity. So this is kind of obvious for him. It should be. Now she even has 250 supply. Because yes, Selendis did get a buff with a ton of supply. Now she's got 50 extra. No, Kerrigan is going to walk straight into the Colossi. What the frick is this? No, Kerrigan's going to lose like 30,000, 40,000 HP just by trying to do that. She just walked into the freaking Colossus army and Selendis. That was not a good idea. That's the worst thing I could do as Kerrigan. There's no way, this is like 24, 27 Colossi in total, and now she's gonna warp in some of those scouts just in case these are just gonna use Corruptors. I guess that is Kerrigan's last chance, but now that, that the actual scouts are here, there is just no way this ends will be broken. Kerrigan needs more income. She does have the gas though, okay, she is doing it. Glevig is actually building more and more hatcheries, but this is kind of late. This is me 32, and Selenis is actually going to start pushing with all of those uh, scouts. Now, what is Kerrigan going to try and do next? I guess she's just going to camp for now. I mean, she's not using F2, she's just not doing anything. They're just waiting. Waiting on something to happen. No Ghost will just, I guess, send two Colossi to see what's going on here. They will destroy one Zergling. And then I guess they will look for a Glevig. Glevig will just spam some Corruptors. Okay, yeah, there we go. And these will be able to absolutely destroy the Colossi, but, I mean, not the Scouts, even though... Okay, there we go. Kerrigan's gonna send these Corruptors forward, and then they're gonna go towards Selendis. And Selendis already sees this coming. He, he just works in a couple more Scouts, and with all of these Scouts here, I don't think the Corruptors will be able to do anything, even with the Death Ray. I guess the thermal lens there, there is no way those corruptors do work, and all of the zerglings will just get destroyed by the Colossi. There is no way you do this with um, Glevig. No, you just can't. These zerglings are just gonna get destroyed here. They are getting massacred. Look at this snow ghost, he's just, I guess, carrying the game eventually. Yeah, what he said was exactly true. He's just carrying the game solo without any help from his allies, and now, I mean, the corruptors still don't do that much work because again the scouts now Glevig's gonna try and use his key on the Colossi but he just doesn't have time he doesn't have that much HP and if he if he loses like 
16 more thousand. So then this will officially be able to one shot them with her uh, thermal lens. I mean now Glevix is gonna just have to again with the Zerglings towards towards Elendis is gonna get even level 14 right now. Yeah, look at that. This is insane. I mean, the Zerg should really stop feeding Selendis because this is just doing them more harm than good. I guess Selendis is now able to just go through all of these Zerglings like a hot knife through butter. There's no way they can hold this anymore. I mean, even though Kurgan did get a couple more hatcheries, this is still not going to be enough. Yeah, Selendis can just push through the middle. Glevi could try like deep tunnel on top of her, but that would be extremely risky because, I mean, this is a lot of Colossi to hold on against. And now Selenis has 40,000 saved up minerals, so she doesn't even care if she loses her main base. She just wants to push through the middle of the map. Glevik is going to try and actually shoot at all of these scouts, that won't quite work. He's even going to spam some corruptors, but again, those don't do that much, they will get destroyed by the scouts and Selenis. And now Selenis is pushing forward with all of the Colossi now. Glevik tries again with the Zerglings, I guess he's going to send them towards the main base of the Selenis. Yeah, there you go, but I mean Gain with his uh, Flamers, I guess he will be able to defend this. Even Selenis like sends back some of those uh, Colossi, but the flame and the Flaming Therese, they will be able to destroy all of these Zerglings. Good job Gain, he actually saves Selenis' income with those very turrets. Yeah, I guess he wasn't useless after all. He just helped to win the game. Just a bit, but he did. I have to give it to him. Then look at this Glevig. No, he's just gonna go for No, you need to deep tunnel away. He doesn't have the deep tunnel cooldown. He's gonna take a lot of damage. He's gonna take 10,000 damage a second. And he's gonna get destroyed. Good game. Well played. Snow Ghost outsmarts the very, very clever Kerrigan.